Okay, I started my recording and I will share screen now. Okay, share. Okay, and uh, we, uh, just a second, I will change here and do somehow larger my part and smaller this part and larger my part okay okay today we are with very fascinating topic of uh, gradients uh, 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 jacobians uh, computational graphs and uh, jacobian and gradient of neural network and you already started your homework and it's very good that you are now very motivated and I hope that we, we will uh, do really order in this uh, relatively complicated issue, but we have a, a simple way to solve it. So here is the quiz. I hope uh, that you see it on your screens. And it also in the task in the Moodle, you can download it PDF file. Uh, hand to. Okay. So uh, I even didn't draw neural network. I just write it in algebraic form. So I have a vector input of neural network uh, multiplied by weight matrix W1. It is without transpose, it's a little bit different than in the lecture, so the formulas also will be a little bit different. Multiplied by W1, and then I take element-wise function. Of, uh, this is a vector, yes? vector by a matrix is a vector and then i take element wise function like in the lecture it may be sigmoid for example and uh, when i write phi of u when u is vector i mean element wise function and uh, so i do it by chain then i do the output so first layer of neurons phi i apply another weight matrix w and then second uh, nonlinearity activation function phi, and this is my neural network. This is function of input. Actually, I could write here also w. It's function of input and weights. But for a moment, I am interested in the input, so I only write it as a, a weights. And uh, our first task will be to derive Jacobian, Jacobian of this chain function and you you can also use formula uh, you have in the lecture jacobian for the chain function or you can write differential up to you both are good maybe differential is a little bit even better because you will remember then everything inside and then what i do i uh, i i have some loss function some error error function which uh, is just uh, squared to normal of a vector and uh, i want to derive gradient of this simple function with respect to v this is very simple function and what what i will do i i have outputs of my neural network f of x and i have desired outputs y and i want to take uh, turn two norm difference between desired and actual and I will call it loss function or error function. And what is the final, my final goal is develop gradient of this uh, whole expression. First of all, with respect to inputs, we will uh, stop with this, with squeeze. And then uh, with respect to inputs. So you, you want to develop it uh, in, gen in general form, you have such a, an expression and assume that you have Jacobian of f and you have gradient of phi, of psi, sorry. And using those two, you need uh, to develop gradient with respect to x in very general terms. And then as the second uh, stage, you already have an expression for Jacobian here, you substitute, and then you get gradient with respect to x of whole expression in terms of those functions. And with this, we will stop quiz. And after that in the class, we will develop, based on what you did in the quiz, we will develop gradient uh, with respect to weights. 
because this is actually what we need. Be, uh, why do we need gradient with respect to weights? Because we want to minimize this error with respect to find such weights of neural network, which will minimize this error. Okay, any question, any comment, and then we, you, you can start working. I didn't have your feedback. I hope that I do, don't uh, tell, don't talk into empty space. Any, any response? Oh, no. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm, I also have it. So yes. this, this is our quiz. This is a very important quiz. It will make order in your head after after you do it. Any any question? Any comments regarding yes. the quiz? Yes. Yes. In three uh, B, do we substitute uh, for x? Uh, you you have Jacobian from uh, one. Yes. Yes. In one, uh, you have Jacobian. Oh, Jacobian. I mean Jacobian, sorry, I didn't write it here. Thank you for the question. I mean Jacobian with respect to X, yes? Yeah, okay. Jacobian with respect to X, and uh, you, you will have final expression of Jacobian of H with respect to X. And then in the class, we will der derive Jacobian and gradient with respect to W. Okay, you can start working. Take your time, this is very serious mission and very important. It's not just a quiz, it makes order in your in your head. Okay, you can start from. And uh, I may pause the recording and I ask you very, uh, very much uh, to tell me if I'm not recording after the pause just to check whether my recording is working. It's uh, the central one. Okay, so you can start working and I even close my video.
Oh, yes, it's working. So I resumed my recording. Yes, uh, I, I, I resume. My question is about 3A. Okay. Uh, in 3A, in the formula should be JF and the uh, psi on the right hand side of the formula. Okay, so about the nabla psi, what yes. is uh, with respect to? Nabla psi is here, is res with respect to V. With psi is very simple uh, function, yes? Oh, we also have psi. Okay. Ah, okay. it's psi, it's not phi, yes. It's, it's the same uh, psi? Nabla, nabla psi is from paragraph two, yes? From question yes. two. Now I see it. Thank you. Please. And th thank you for the question. I really want uh, as many people as possible to do this quiz uh, by their own in the right way. Because then it will really clean up your brain. It's a new, it's yeah. new way of uh, looking on things. And it's very simple way. After, after you will manage with this machinery, a lot of complicated stuff will become very simple. Okay. Okay, just continue and dry your hand when you're ready. Alt P, let's try Alt P. Yes. No? It's not. Ah, Alt P. Yes. Now it's recording. Okay. Uh, please uh, conf confirm with voice that you are here. We are here. Are you? Okay. We are on recording. Uh, and we resumed. Uh, I did. Uh, and uh, I see that uh, six participants. So I, I, I hope that uh, you finished with the quiz and uploaded it it's important and uh, what would sh what should we do now maybe ask for a volunteer to present uh, who wants uh, please uh, put your hands down uh, who who is uh, still keep them up Please, uh, all hands should be removed. Can I do it in central way? Uh, two more people uh, remain with hands. Barak and uh, Rave. Rave. Yes. Okay. And, and now, please uh, raise your hands, uh, those who want to present us uh, the quiz. Any volunteer? And we will, do, do, don't hesitate, we will discuss everything. If you want to present and discuss and ask questions, it's the, 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 the best you can do to present it. Uh, any volunteers? Should, should I just start asking? No, I don't like to do it. Who, uh, who usually was uh, Barack and Katya and uh, who, who else? Only oh, Barack, I think. Only Barack, I don't have the phone. I don't me, know. Me, me, Deber, I, 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 I don't see. Barack. Barack. Okay, very good. So I stop my sharing and you can share your screen. Just a second. Okay, just a second. I will stop share. Okay, I stop my share. But still, uh, my whiteboard is here, so we can. Yeah, yeah just a second. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, same about. Uh, wait to see. It takes. I think that there is an echo. Yeah, uh, it's still your screen is black. Okay, or maybe I have some problems. You don't yes. see my screen? 
I can see his screen. Oh, wow. Maybe I have problems with the internet. It's not good. Uh, all others see the screen? Yes, I can see it. Yeah. Can, uh, could, could maybe because I was sharing and wow, what should I do? Could, could you maybe uh, uh, Brax, uh, stop sharing and uh, and start it again? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I stop. Is wrong with my wow. Okay, now I start again. Okay. Uh, no, no, you you didn't. St uh, maybe. I did stop. I even I, I am afraid to leave my Zoom. Barak, share again, share again. Okay, so I share again now. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, okay. Wow. You see, you see the screen? Yes. I have I have really problem with my Zoom. What should I do? I am afraid to to leave. But like to disconnect and reconnect. You can. It might solve it. Nothing will happen to the room. Uh, you, wow. If I will close the Zoom, okay. I, another person. Oh. Okay, I, I will close Zoom window and try to connect again. No mm -hmm. And uh, make somebody else host the. Uh, before you do it, because we, you can just and uh, please keep keep uh, recording. Keep uh, others. Please keep uh, recording. Close the program. Recording. Okay. Okay. Barak, go go ahead. Go ahead. You you wrote you wrote in Hebrew. Okay, but uh, try to talk in English to keep it for everybody. Okay. Who is pre uh, who is Pre uh, presenting. Ani, Barak. Okay, okay, I'm with you. You see, you see it right now. Yes, yes, I see it now. Okay, so if you want, I can also put here a, a hat because it's uh, very sunny today. Yes, nice, nice. Okay, so um, to make us uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. On one side, you, you, you are a good teacher, Barak. Are you teaching? <laughs> no, but I will consider it. You may be a good teacher, I guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, for one side, we know uh, by definition that uh, this happens. From the you, other you should, side... Uh, no, no, you should tell it in words. If okay. Teacher, for, one side, we, for one side, we know that uh, df is Jacobian of f multiply uh, dx. Yes. <clears throat> and from the other side, uh, let me just copy the, the you you don't have unfortunately you don't have original formulation in front of our eyes yeah 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 because i want uh, i wanted to copy that but uh, i don't uh, so we have uh, f of x is the uh, is phi of omega w yeah w w of a uh, phi of w1 of x yes yes okay thank you okay so uh, d of f is if uh, it's d of phi because it just put d d here put yeah. d here it's also put d here it's the same because yes. this equal this okay yes so uh, so so uh, we have uh, df equals d phi and um, dc is the jacobian of phi multiplied by d of this is d of omega time phi of omega but, uh, maybe you, you you know to go in your way we need to also to make uh, um, indices for our uh, yeah, 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 for the fee, yeah, yeah. This fee, is like two and fee, fee. Okay, fee so one. I do it like this. No, oh, no, 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 no. Just keep yeah. it here. Uh, if can you rem uh, erase? Are you able to to erase to make it? Yes, yes, of course. Clear. Like okay. this? Yeah, and uh, no, no, no. J just put fee one. I mean, in in clear way. Just put fee one here. Why you want? 
Oh, you want the one here? Yeah, this is P1 and the other, and could you write phi in the, as phi2, write normal letter phi? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is... No, no, in the formula, when you have F, capital F, yeah, this is yes. phi. Could you write it in normal way? Ah, in a normal way. You don't, way. You don't, okay, you don't like my... Uh, ‫-נכון. P1, yes. One. And, and because uh, we can insert the, the D inside, I already did it here. Yes. Because omega W time uh, is not uh, depend on X. Um, and uh, and uh, importantly, it's linear. Because of yes, linearity, linear. you, you may say the D differential of W2 uh, multiplied by phi is d phi multiplied by w. If, if, in, if instead of w2 we, we had here, just for, uh, uh, for the example, we had uh, something like uh, w2 uh, norm, norm square or Frobenius norm or something like this, I also could do it, right? Not, you, you multiply by w2. If you multiply by w2, uh, this is So, so you, you say that differential of this expression, W2 multiplied by D phi, uh, uh, by, by phi, is W2 multiplied by D phi. Yes. This is also because of linearity. But uh, yes, let, yes. Let, let's leave it for future. Okay. Discussion. Okay, so, so, now we, yeah. so now we need to know uh, what is D phi 1. <coughs> And uh, D phi 1 is the Jacobian. of uh, phi1 mm -hmm. multiplied by, this is a uh, d of w1 x. Yes, yes. And also I did it the same way, uh, the same thing yes. here. Because of linearity, linear. again, because yes. of linearity. And, and uh, here we get a Jacobian of f by definition. Yes. Okay. okay. So this is uh, the first one. Um, and now for the second one, Uh, we have a uh, deep sigh and deep sigh I should put the D here but because of the uh, linearity uh, uh, ah, just a second so our conclusion Jacobian of the first expression okay. it's this okay good this is okay. Jacobian of the first expression it's pity that you removed it but okay it's better to uh, to keep it on because we, we will look every, all, all the ah, time. Okay, so here we have it. Okay. okay. Um, so the psi, psi equals to... So just again, our psi, you, you, you don't copy the original... Yes, I don't copy because... Uh, because it's quiz, it. yes, because it's quiz, but uh, now it's good to write it down. And uh, we have a... Okay, just a second. Okay, we have psi of d. Psi of v is half, yeah, norm squared of v. Okay, very good. Okay. So, uh, d psi, it's d on all this. Yes. D on all this, because of the linearity, I can uh, uh, do it like, uh, like I did here. It's half multiplied by d of the uh, second uh, of the norm square. And uh, this is the norm square right here. And uh, about the multiplication uh, rule. It's actually, you can say that it is multiplication rule, or you can say that V is entering twice into expression, yes? And you are looking as variable and uh, in one place and constant in the other place and vice versa. Ah, okay. I like this more. I know that you did uh, somewhere in... Uh, in, uh, tir in tir Tirgulim, this uh, formula for multiplication, but it's much yeah. more, ge more general. You have V like in, two, in two places, yes? 
And you look okay. at it as a constant in one place and a variable in other place. Yes. Okay. Good. So, uh, so after we, we got it, we, we, we uh, by the way, I do it, I, I uh, uh, explain it to myself by the, by the multiplication rule. Yes. But uh, whatever you want. Um, and we get, um, we get here uh, V transpose dV and V transpose dV twice. It with the Hetzi. Cancel. Cancel. Uh, no, cancel, no, it's not cancel. Uh, United. Okay. Okay. Merge. And after, and after that, we get uh, scalar, uh, scalar inner product of VDV. And that's why gradient of the psi is V. Okay. Yes. Okay. The, I have a question. Yes. Maybe I'll ask back. Uh, the transformation there with the transpose, it's okay because it's a scalar, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, somebody has my uh, microphone on. We, we hear some background. Uh, yes, it's, it's because it's a uh, scalar, You're right? Please uh, turn off your microphones, those who are not uh, talking now. I need to like for, to look for some additional microphones. Okay, okay, so uh, okay, please please continue. Okay, so um, you got to the conclu conclusion that the uh, gradient of psi is uh, just uh, V? Uh, just a second, please st stop uh, of, uh, for a second. We, we hear some background words Fro from who from whom it is. I think it's disturbed uh, our recording, but I cannot understand whose microphone is on. I don't see. Oh, it, it can be missed just a ah, second. Ah, maybe it's in your place, in place of Barack, some background voice? And my wife here is also ah, okay. uh, working. Okay. Just continue. No, no, if it is in your room, no, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. No, 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 I feel shame for entire life. For many life. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> so, uh, we got to section three and we have uh, so, so the, the, the conclusion is gradient of uh, psi is just V, yes? Yes. Okay. This is the conclusion. Let me put the marker on it. Yes, very good. Very good. Okay, so now we have H, which is the psi of F uh, X minus Y. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, and so we need uh, a Jacobian of this uh, expression with respect to x. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh, the gradient. <clears throat> so uh, we have d of h, which is d of psi. Mm -hmm. Let's do uh, d to the both side of the uh, part. Mm -hmm. And the d of psi is the gradient of psi transpose multiplied by d of its argument. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have uh, the gradient of psi transpose multiplied by d of f of x minus y, which uh, because because y is not a function of uh, x, d of y is uh, zero, mm -hmm. and uh, we stay with uh, d of f. And the D of F, uh, it's by definition the Jacobian of F, mm -hmm. as we see here. And the Jacobian of F multiplied by dx, and uh, this is uh, A, it's, this is section uh, section A that we wanted. So, yes. So, uh, what what is, uh, just a second, in this general form, you didn't write in, in general form, you you immediately uh, run to, to uh, went to substitute gradient of psi, but if I don't substitute gradient of psi and I ask what is gradient of h? Here, here I, I noticed that here. Ah, this is transpose. Uh, let, let's write yeah. uh, gradient of h. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So gradient of h is the Jacobian of f. Suppose uh, multiply by the gradient of 
oxide. Very good, very good. This is the important formula. So if, if I have chain of two functions, it's uh, just product. It's, uh, okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, and then we just substitute. It's, it's more clear what, what you wrote now, and you just substitute uh, gradient of psi as uh, V, yes? Yes, yes, and, and uh, we can also substitute V. Uh, we need to substitute V with uh, F of X uh, minus Y. As uh, someone told me in the in our okay way. yes f x my my minus y okay okay uh, and you didn't substitute uh, everything uh, finally but actually you could do it uh, did uh, anybody get final expression I I I also expected final expression of gradient of h in terms of uh, yeah. I have Michael, I can assure you. Okay, okay, let, let's, uh, let's uh, give to Katya to, to show us just, yes. just. The, the, the final expression. Because the final expression is very important because it shows us uh, order of uh, operations. Just a second. Yeah. Okay. And again, uh, the Jacobian of phi, it's the phi matrix, the phi diagonal matrix. So the transpose, it's like the matrix itself. I, I have them, okay, it is written here. Uh, yes, uh, Katya, do, do, do you have expression? Do yes. you have expressions for Jacobian, for original, for Jacobian of F? Uh, yes. Let, let's look on, on it because we need to de derive its uh, tran transpose. Uh, yes, Jacobian of F is this expression. I, I, I substitute it later. Just a second, just a second. Mm -hmm. You have, ah, you, you write, uh, okay, okay. Yes, you write the variable in, 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 inside, yes. Yes, uh, and it makes our, it makes your expression a little bit uh, long and not so clear. Did you try to write it finally? Oh, can you, ah, okay, you, you cannot write. Okay, okay, let's go with this and then ask for somebody to show this uh, really short. Okay. Okay. You can write it because I, I want to see the product of matrices and in your writing it's uh, very difficult to see it. Okay, um, so you can just uh, ignore the brackets because it's yes, always yes. The, the variable. So yes. the product is the Jacobian of phi, yes. which is actually this, yes. diagonal matrix. Yes. So the, the Jacobian of phi multiplied by the vector uh, w2 yes multiplied by jacobian of phi yes well this is the variable this time yes and multiplied by w1 okay okay maybe um so i just uh, to finish uh, what barak did so i substituted it with the variables uh, again in the brackets so it's um, Jacobian of uh, F transposed is this term transposed mm -hmm. one again <laughs> yeah it's a little bit di uh, difficult to just finish and then we may ask somebody if anybody uh, did the writing in clean form we, we will need to, uh, we will need it okay so, um, uh, anyway, uh, after uh, transposing it, I obtained uh, this, which is a W1 transposed, a Jacobian of phi transposed, mm -hmm. um, W2 transposed, Jacobian of phi transposed. When again, Jacobian of phi is symmetric, so it just, I wrote it generally, but uh, mm -hmm. Jacobian of phi transposed is like Jacobian. Yes, okay. So you did it in more general form. 
you put yes. transpose, yes. And, and then uh, uh, that's it. It's, it's only this is four. multiplied by. I I, I guess I, I don't have to write it on the whiteboard or if anybody has has it in in form. It's a very prefer. I think I have it in a clean form. Okay. Uh, okay, Katya. Then thank you very much, and we we will ask one more share. Or you, or you want to to add so something, Katya? Uh, no, nothing. Okay, just stop your sharing, and we will ask if if anybody has it in clean form. Yeah, I will share. You see, so, sometimes non-rigorous uh, mathematical writing is better because it's more clear. <laughs> Okay, okay. Michael, but, but this way you see what is the variable it depends yes, on. Yes, you're, you you're, you're right, it. but I don't see the expression. Maybe my head is more poor than yours, but I don't see the expression in parentheses are and multiplications. But but you are right. You 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 can both of you are right, I, I would say in this way. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, who, who, who is talking? Just tell your name. Now? My name is Ron. Yeah, it's ah, Ron. Ron. Okay, it's Ron. Okay. So, uh, please, uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you start from the beginning. I, I see the uh, first uh, question, yes? In the, yes? in the top you have Jacobian. You yeah. have uh, Jacobian of, uh, of F. our F. Very good, yeah. very good, very good. Yeah, yeah. So it, this is a clean form. I I wanted to make it quick. I used the formulas from the lecture. The yeah, y, yes. the Jacobian. Okay. And yeah, without total differential, just compute the Jacobian straightforward with the chain rule. With and chain I, rule, yes, very good. With chain okay. rule, we immediately can write the Jacobian of, of this expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's uh, just uh, tell for everybody, you are you're our teacher. You should point okay. to the formula in the beginning, to the first line of your page. Second yeah, this is, this is the formula. This is and the say, uh, what is Jacobian of, of every... So Jacobian of W1X is just W1, yes? W1... Of x is just w one, yes. Yes, and then so I will and I will, then you should have uh, phi prime, yes. It's uh, the prime you, is missing. Yes, it should be phi, phi, phi prime, the diagonal matrix, yes. Yeah, yeah. It should be capital phi. It's your capital letter, okay. Yeah. Uh, so this, this is J Jacobian of phi, then you multiply by Jacobian of W2 on the left. Exactly. And J Jacobian of, okay. That's right. This is That's Jacobian right. of uh, our original function. Okay. Okay. I start from the innermost uh, expression, put, in the, put it on the right, and as I go left, I add the Jacobians of each, um, of each function. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Any so, question, any comment at this part? I have yeah. many assistant teachers today. I want other students to respond with questions or with confirmations. Everything is okay, yes? Okay, just continue. Okay. Should I remind what is phi tag? Phi tag. Right. In English, it's prime. Fit, it's Hebrew, it's prime. prime. Yeah. Okay. It's a diagonal matrix of the derivatives of phi yes. with respect to each of its indices. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. So let's move on to uh, the second part of uh, psi. Psi of v is equal to half uh, square norm. Mm. which have the gradient and I do it also in a straightforward way here it's a v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square 
I can calculate the partial derivative of the spectrum. Ah, you don't go here with matrix vector rules, but you go by elements, yes? Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. It's your yeah. right. But it's better for Thank the you. to go by what matrix vector because we are learning. Definitely. We are learning Definitely. Yeah. but it's okay for now. So our okay. conclusion is, uh, just a second, le le let me summarize, the gradient of one half of to norm is just vector v. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. And uh, definitely matrix form is much more general. Okay, good. But and go to, to the question three. Okay. So, question three, we have age, which is psi, this psi. Yes. Psi, we have it of uh, f of x minus y. Yes. We want to derive uh, the gradient of A yes. first in terms of the Jacobian with respect to f of x. Mm -hmm. the, the gradient. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. We will remember the equation. Yeah, okay. So uh, the first step is, is very simple. Yeah, I just use the chain rule once over here. Uh, you use from the lecture. Actually, you, you used already from the lecture, I got this formula, yes? Yeah. It's not simple chain rule. Because we have chain rule for Jacobians. It should be Jacobian of phi multiplied by Jacobian right. of f, yes? That's right, it's a formula. But also we say that gradient is uh, for function of, uh, for scalar function of vector okay. variable, gradient is Jacobian transpose. Okay, okay. And then you transpose everything and get what you, what you have, it's formula from, from the lecture. Yes, 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 okay. thank you for that comment. It was, uh, okay, it's very good, thank you. And uh, after, after I use that formula for the gradients, then I substitute what we calculated before. Mm -hmm. I substitute it. Okay, so I substitute it here and use the transform put it inside and substitute for the gradient of psi, which I have from the second, mm -hmm. from the equation I have the gradient of psi. So yes. I know it is uh, V and V is uh, R and R is yes. F X minus Y. Okay, so just R, R is uh, F X minus Y, I put it here and that's it. And you, uh, and uh, let, let's stay a little bit with your expression because you got Please. Very important expression, and uh, I even will put it on my whiteboard now because uh, I, I I would start it from the from the end. You 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 have this uh, f uh, f. Uh, uh, Michael, I think there is a, a mistake with the transposed. The w should be transposed. Maybe because maybe because he looked in the lectures, and in the lectures it was initially transposed, so he could. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you very much, Katya. Okay. So it should be corrected at which place? It should be corrected in the beginning. Yes. Yes. When you wrote uh, in the uh, first question. Over here. Yeah. Ah. It should be without okay. transpose. It yeah. Without transpose. Yeah. yeah. So it's different from the lecture, because in the lecture I wrote neural network in, with transposes, and here we wrote it without uh, transposes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the comment. So and uh, so can can anybody tell me because it's difficult for me to definitely write definitely and, uh, on the on the yeah. screen. Just yeah, it's the, okay. Yes. Just a uh, second, I want to sum, uh, summarize. I have f of x, yes? Yes. f of x minus, uh, what was, uh, y, yes? Minus y. Minus exactly. y. And then I multiply it by what? You multiply by, by phi prime. Phi prime. Uh, I, I would prime it's k it's capital why i write it capital 
because in our convention ma uh, matrices, this is matrix, diagonal matrix. Yeah. And then I multiply it by what? W2 transpose. W2 transpose. And then again by T prime. Yes. I, I, I even can write it. This, this is phi 2, yes? And this is phi 1 prime by W1 transpose, yes? Well, I don't know what you mean by phi 2 and phi 1, which is phi uh, 1? It's, uh, it's in the order. The later okay. is phi 2, the first. What is next to W1 is phi, phi, phi 1. Uh, and, and, and so on. Okay, and uh, this is our expression, yes? The, this is gradient, uh, gradient of uh, H, yes? We denote of H. Gradient of H with respect to X. Okay, okay, very good. Very good. Uh, any question? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, just a second. And, th and this is uh, this is what called back propagation. Why it is back propagation? Because we took uh, this uh, output of the network, the residual. It's uh, often called er error. We took this error, and we applied the latest the the output phi, but not phi is derivatives multiplied by transpose of weight matrix then derivatives of first layer and then transpose of uh, weight matrix of the first layer so we propagate back backwards in our network uh, the error and in this way we got a gradient of uh, uh, turn it a little bit the lost function. Yes. Uh, in this way, we got the, gr the gradient of uh, our function. Let me somehow. Okay, I'm not sure that I'm able to mi uh, to minimize it. Okay. Uh, you thank you very much. Screen? Yeah. You, you can stop sharing your screen. And my now my window is larger. So the, that that uh, was I told I tell it again because now uh, I have full screen. So so I, I take output of the network multiplied by derivative of output nonlinearities and then by matrix of weights in output layer and then by derivative diagonal matrix of derivative of first layer and then by, by weights tra transposed weights of the first layer so i propagate my cal calculation from the end of the network to the beginning and in this way i get gradient of my matrix uh, with respect to x and uh, any question any comment at this part you know i may should I put uh, this slide? May I may play put this slide? Uh, just a second. Uh, actually, I, I I will do it later. And uh, what I propose now, I will resume my screen sharing. I will resume my screen sharing. Uh, I hope is that my recording is is my recording on. It seems to be on. Do do yes. do, do you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. And I will start screen sharing again. I I have a question. Yeah. About just a second. Just a second. Yeah. Okay. Just give me one okay. second. Uh, and I will increase my, it's a little bit sophisticated to do everything with Zoom. Because now, now we will continue, uh, now we will continue 
with the second part. So actually, if you see, I hope that you see my slide, yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what we did, actually we derived gradient of h of x of our loss function, actually, uh, in terms of uh, weights and uh, non-linearities of our network. And then we will have uh, one more mission. If I de de denote the argument, for example, of first layer as u, 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 u1, I may ask uh, what will be gradient of my error function with respect to u1, because after I will answer this question, I will able to answer my final and most important question, what is, will be gradient of the error with respect to weights matrix W1. Okay, uh, now any question, any co comment, uh, and uh, then we, I, you, you will do this and we will discuss it again. Okay, uh, what was the question? Uh, my question was, uh, what is the gradient with respect to the weights? Because I... Okay, so you... Your, your question was excellent, yes? <laughs> okay. So your, your question you. was yeah, uh, related you. to this part. Okay. Yeah. So we, we will do it in two stages. The first stage is more simple and less uh, challenging. I, I, I would de denote as U1 input of this first layer uh, nonlinearity. It's actually phi, phi, phi 1. I didn't write here 1, but it's phi 1. Uh, write down gradient of our objective function with respect to u1 and then try to write the gradient with respect to w uh, and you will go by, sta by stages first of all uh, you should write uh, Jacobian of f with respect to u1 go by this stage so the, the question four actually has two parts. To write down Jacobian of F with respect to U1, and then substitute it into the formula of uh, gradient of H with respect to U1. Okay, start working, and uh, this is all, already our class. We have only 10 minutes for the class, so I think you should uh, solve it. Uh, okay, so this is very important topic and we will finish with this nothing to do nothing to do we, we have limited time but uh, it's really the central part and uh, you learned a lot from this class okay okay uh, le, le, let's do it in this way you 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 do it uh, in the class now and afterwards i only ask volunteers we, we have active our active group who wants to stay and discuss solution, we, we will do it after, after the end. And uh, thank you for your comment. Let's do it in this way. Uh, you have 10 minutes to solve it. And then we will have, uh, for example, another five minutes break. So we will uh, meet at 12.25, those who are active participants of informal meeting and all others may feel free and look on zoom results of our discussion okay, okay. so i'm saying and i'm keeping the recording yes and uh, yes if you want to if you can uh, keep recording it would be great for okay sure. sure yeah yes yes i'm keeping it on. okay thank you very much okay 12 25 we, we will meet again i will pause my recording
אוקיי. אה, אז הרבה אנשים נשארים. מאוד נהיה. מאוד נהיה. יש לנו הרבה מובל ונתירס עכשיו. Are you with, with me? Please respond with voice. Yes. And, uh, resume your recording. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I see that Ron, uh, Ron resumed the recording. Yeah. Do we have anybody else? I think that yes. Dan, uh, yes, so... I see that Dan is recording, recording mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Uh, is uh, anybody willing to present? Uh, uh... Michael, I can. I uploaded it. Okay, very good, very good. Go ahead. And I didn't write it with the variables <laughs> this time, with the, uh, with the brackets. Just a second. I, I, uh, I should stop my share. I, I stopped my, 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 my sharing. And you can start your sharing. I, I will be in. Okay. Okay. Um, so I just wrote the, this is the previous expression. It's not. Anyway, uh, this is the function F with respect to U1. Just write it for, for the sake of convenience. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. You, you did it in an organized way. Yes. So to find the Jacobian of F with respect to the new variable, mm -hmm. uh, I wrote the total differential mm -hmm. and uh, which is the total differential of phi two, which is the Jacobian of phi two multiplied by uh, uh, D of the variable of mm -hmm. uh, phi two, which is by linearity Jacobian of phi 2, W2, and the uh, D phi 1, mm -hmm. and which is again uh, uh, Jacobian of phi 2, W2, uh, and the Jacobian of phi 1 mm -hmm. multiplied by D1. Mm -hmm. And uh, hence, I, uh, uh, I uh, yes, I conclude that this is the term that multiplies d1 uh -huh. is the jacobian of f thank you very much you did it from the beginning and in clean form yeah thank you very much <laughs> no problem um in two two it's like in the previous time uh -huh. we know that the gradient of psi which is a uh, half of the square to norm of V is V. We showed it, so I didn't repeat it. Yes, yes. So now we want to find the gradient of H with respect to U1. Uh -huh. When H is defined as Psi, which is this, uh -huh. of the error. Yes. So again, the gradient of H with respect to U1, yes, to find it, we, we start with the total differential. Yeah, it, you, you should not write e e equality, yes? Uh, no, it's here it's, here it's, right, here it's, right, it's not equality. Uh, not, not equality. It's, yes, I'm sorry, it's maybe not. It's a uh, column, yes, okay. Yeah. So the so total G, differential. G, 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 H, yes, okay. Yes, yes. So, yes. so it's the gradient of psi transposed um, multiplied by uh, by d of the of the variable of psi. Uh -huh. And since um, y doesn't depend on u1, uh -huh. so it vanishes, and we are left with the gradient psi transpose multiplied by uh, d f with respect to U1. Uh -huh. And we know this is just the gradient of, uh, the Jacobian of F with respect to U1 multiplied by D1. Uh -huh. And, uh, oh, 
Uh, and then, since I know that this is the gradient of H transpose, mm -hmm. yes, but the, the external definition of gradient. Mm -hmm. So I conclude that this is uh, gradient of H with respect to U1. Yes. Yes, okay. And I substitute uh, this to obtain uh, this. The, the you, uh, I, I, you, you can say it in, in, in words. You, you substitute uh, Jacobian transpose of F. Yes? Yes. I, sub okay. I substitute the Jacobian transpose of F, which I obtained previously. Yes. And, and I have. And you get this nice back, again, it's back propagation formula. Yes? Yes, it's back propagation you formula compute, of uh, the arrow. You, you, it's good to, to say it again, it's so central. That it's very nice to repeat. So we, we compute the, the error f mi minus y, capital F minus y, and then apply derivative of output layer nonlinearity, yes, phi, phi 2 prime. You, you, you can go with pointer, and I, I will say that. Yes. Then apply yeah. the outer layer, yeah. 2 prime, and, and then the outer weight. Yes. And, and the then, inner uh, layer, but without the derivative of the previous layer, but you don't apply the weights of the first layer, la layer because uh, your question is about u1, not about x, yes? About yeah. some intermediate uh, gradient with respect to intermediate variables, actually, the entrance of the v1, yes? Of the yes. Uh, first. Very good, very good. Thank you very much. You did us order order those students who won't have to to hear your presentation to summarize everything okay good Let, let's continue and here it's easier because we can conclude we can conclude the gradient of h with respect to w1 mm -hmm. um, with, um, uh, by the previous uh, result we okay. write the total differential of h yes which we first write it we know that this is uh, the gradient of h with respect to u1 transpose multiplied by du1 mm -hmm. and but we want to differentiate with respect to w1 so we continue expanding like we know that u1 is w1 multiplied by x yes and from linearity we obtain that the differential is uh, applied only on w1 since uh -huh. x doesn't depend on w1 x is a constant yes yes x is a constant here mm -hmm. and but we know this is a scalar so we can it's, apply it uh, uh, again let's let look together you you know and me know but let's show it uh, to the students so x it should be a small x because we uh, want to keep with uh, small le letters vectors so x is vector column yes yes it's, it's small x maybe it's not okay yes okay but, but okay i just tell it in, in, in words. x is a vector column and what mu mu multiplies x is a row because u1 is also column so it's gradient is column so it's gradient transpose is row so we have here a row multiplied by column so it's scalar and of course h itself it's scalar so it's it's right the d, d h should be scalar okay please continue and and we say that scalar is a trace of the scalar we, we want somehow to change order of multiplication yes Yes, we want to okay. take DW1 Why? To well, be you, on you, the you right. Have a, somebody has feedback with a microphone. Um, maybe my microphone is. Oh, my, maybe you you should uh, put a little bit down your your loudspeaker. Mm. You have loudspeaker or headphones? Um, I'm using headphones. Wow. Nobody else. Well, is is it? 
I will reduce it a little bit my sound. Maybe I have some feedback. Maybe how how about the other students? How they no no no. J j just continue. You you have very important presentation. Just can uh, continue with, with your pre your presentation. So so now because it's a scalar, I take the trace. It's the same. And uh, just, just a second. Know. Where is your pointer? Oh, okay yeah, okay. Okay, continue. And since the... Uh, is it okay, the sound? The, the... Uh, it's relatively okay. Uh, just continue. Your, your, your presentation is very nice. I, I want you to continue and finish it. Okay, I'll try to my best. Um, anyway, because it's color, we can take the trace and we'll, it will be still the same. Yes. And because of the cyclic property of trace. Uh, ju just move, move with, your, uh, with your pointer. Yes, yes. Okay. We move X to the left. And we are left with DW1 at the right, as we want. Mm -hmm. And we know that this is exactly this. This, uh, th that the total differential of H with respect to W1 is, can be written this way. Why? Because we define inner product in this way. Inner product between two matrices, yes? Yes. yes. Inner yeah. product between two matrices is trace of one matrix transpose multiplied by the other, yes? Yes. Okay. So inner product of gradient of H with DW is uh, gradient trace of gradient H transpose multiplied by DW. Okay. Yes. And you conclude that what multiplies DW it's uh, transpose of the gradient. Yes. Yes, which is exactly the gradient uh, of H with respect to U1 multiplied by X transpose. So you, you you do, you do uh, could could you please uh, point uh, on the go go up or and left when you have the preview? How can I ask you? Maybe oh, no 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 in the, in this li last line. Okay okay j j go go two centimeters up and the three centimeters left. And uh, two centimeters <laughs> up, go, go two centimeters up. Okay, here. So we, we have some matrix multiplying D, D, W. So the gradient is transpose of this matrix. Yeah. Uh, it's transpose of the, of the matrix. Please move uh, one centimeter left. Okay, oh, this is the, the matrix. And we take the transpose of this matrix and this is our gradient. Okay. Michal, you can you use annotates in order to write or, and you see where annotate. you want to. And where do I find an, an annotate? You have the upper, upper huh? scroll. More, uh, more yes. Uh, maybe I will have to learn it. I don't find the meantime where is uh, an, annotate in my menu. Uh, you have new options on the top of the screen in the options. center. View options. View. Oh. Top of your screen in the center, you have view options. Uh, it it looks like uh, after 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 the end, I will ask somebody to to help me. It doesn't go in the in online way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Very good, uh, Katya. So, so what, what uh, j just finish? So, after substituting the previous result of the gradient with respect to U1 of H, we obtain that the gradient with respect to the matrix W1 of mm -hmm. H is uh, given by the Jacobian... Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, so it's given by the Jacobian uh, of phi one multiplied by W two transpose multiplied by the Jacobian of phi two, and 
the, multiplied by the error, the f minus y, and multiplied by x transpose. Mm. Maybe it's... Uh, I hope that uh, everything uh, is okay. We should... We should... Uh, I got the same results. Yes. So I, I, I would say you, you got... By back propagation, I, I, let, let me try to summarize. But by back propagation, you got the, all this term which multiplies x transpose. So you back pro propagate, you get everything, and then you multiply it by x transpose. In this way, you organize your operations. Yes. Yes. You back. You you take error. You multiply it by. You you can uh, help me with pointer. You, you, you take yeah. error, you multiply it by phi two trans by phi two prime, then by w two transpose, then by phi one prime. So you back propagate it everything, and the result then you will multiply by x transpose, and this will be give you gradient with respect to w, which is very nice because it's a column multiplied by by rho. Yes, x transpose is rho. So we get this uh, so-called rank one matrix. Yes? Yes. We, so... we get the rank one matrix. So we check ourselves that gradient with respect to matrix W1 is a matrix. Is is a matrix. Okay. Yes, Very because cool. uh, because yes. Yes, yes. Because uh, H is a scalar and W1 is a matrix. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so is it so it's okay? Um, uh, uh, thank you very much, but still stay because uh, if, anybody, no problem. if okay. anybody have uh, stay sharing, I mean, uh, okay. if anybody have questions and comments, because this is really central part, we've got to it. Thank you very much, Katya. You summarized very nicely. <laughs> I mean, I have a question. Yes, um, uh, actually, two questions. First question if I think we talked about it already in the past, but can you explain the notion of the diagonal matrix of the Jacobian, uh, which we use uh, we use it uh, all the time here? Okay. The, the diagonal okay. Uh, I will do it. Uh, I will do it now. Okay. Let uh, a little bit postpone your question and until Katya will finish her screen sharing. I, I will show on the whiteboard. Just let, let's keep your your question in the memory. Any 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 other question? So the, the question was why if I have phi phi of u of something, yes, this element wise uh, column vector, why it's Jacobian? It's the di diagonal matrix. We, we will yeah, the, the notion. we will the discuss. Let's postpone this question. Any 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 other question related to the presentation of uh, Katya? Yeah, the second uh, question would be uh, uh, regarding the second question we did that the gradient of uh, psi is v, right? Uh, uh, Katya, could, could you please uh, scroll up your, or you you don't have it here? Uh, I, yes. don't, okay. I, I don't. Yeah, have yes, it yeah, 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 just a second. We, did, we didn't hear the, the question yet. Okay, so okay, the so the, we see in two that gradient of psi is v. Yes. Right? And then gradient of use psi with respect to its argument, which is with respect to its in cl most closely, with respect to, to V. Yes. Okay. Yes. But, uh, okay, so we see the psi function, and I didn't understand, didn't quite understand why the error is, uh, why we just put the error like this when we use the gradient of psi in, let's say, 3. In 3, we use... Uh, Gradient of psi. No, no, we don't. Uh, ju just second, just second. In three, we have error function. Oh, okay, okay, our loss function. W what do we do? We uh, compute output of network f of u u u one in this case. Yes. Yes. This is our output. Why is desired output? Uh, yes. Uh, Katya is helping me with pointer. Yes. Okay. No, yes, no, no. You're, you're here. Yes. 
Why is desired output? So our loss function is sum of squares of differences between F and Y. Yes? It's uh, a loss okay. square. So the same. Yes, we use the same function exactly. Okay. I, yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Any other qu uh, yes, questions or comments yes. with respect to slides of Katya? Because otherwise, uh, then later we will move to, to the whiteboard. The, the, yes, I have a question. Um, Katya, can you please scroll down a little bit to the final expression? Thank you. Yeah. So, no problem. Okay, thank you. We Is have... it okay to you? Katya, yes, do, do, exactly. do, do, do you have loud, loudspeakers anywhere? Um, actually, I, I, I don't, I really, I don't understand what do you mean by loudspeaker. I, loud I use speaker. headphones. Ramkel. Do you have Ramkel? Um, no. Like, I use headphones with my, uh, And with you don't have Ramkel in your room, in your computer? No. Okay. No. Like, it's, I have everything. It's, anyway, we'll Okay, just continue. We, we will suffer with this because your presentation is excellent. I don't want to, to miss it. Continue. Yes, so, yes definitely. It, it was the extra yes. uh, disruptions. Okay, my, my question is about this, this final. I think it's, it's a very important result. And I want to ask, okay, we have a, a neural network, this exactly exact architecture, and we have Y and we want f of x to be close to y, and we have the back propagation. Yes. Now, how do I use the back propagation to improve my, my network performance? Okay, so it's, uh, thank you for, for the question. We, we say in this way, we, we have our loss function. It's, uh, for, for example, uh, two norm of f minus y and we want to find the weights which minimize this difference and we say we will apply optimization methods you will have it in your homework i want to apply quasi newton minimization to apply quasi newton i i need to be able to compute my objective function this is loss function which is norm uh, two norm of f minus y and y want to compute its gradient with, with respect to the weights of my network for example gradients with respect to w1 but i want also the gradients with respect to w2 and in real uh, network there will be also so-called biases not only weights and when i computed gradient with respect to everything I feed it to, to my quasi-Newton, so I say I am staying with some current weights. I uh, supply to quasi-Newton the value of objective function and gradient of the objective function to my weights. And quasi-Newton moves from one value of my total vector w to the other, minimizing my error. Thank you very much. Yes, now we have our complete picture. Any other comment to the Katya presentation? I have a question about the development, about the last uh, equal sign. Yes. Okay, Katya, yes. Oh, in the, the equality between the traces? Here? Here? Yes. yes. Here. The, okay. the yes. I didn't understand if the um, uh, the right hand side is another expression for uh, the H, or uh, that we get it from the, the left side. No, Michael, you. Uh, maybe I I, I will uh, uh, I will, I will uh, uh, help. It's better that you because I I want. Okay, I'm okay, we, we will do it to, together. Thank you very much. So uh, here, what is written on the, on the right, it's definition of inner product. If I have two matrices, one matrix is DW and the other is uh, gradient of 
uh, gradient of my function, uh, gradient of h with, with respect to w. Inner product, scalar product of two matrices, A V B is trace A transpose B. And this is what written here. So you, you have some expression on the left uh, side of the equality. And on the right, we remember what we are looking for. We are looking for of a trace of some matrix transpose multiplied by DW. And this matrix transpose is, will be exactly our gradient. I'm not sure that I'm clear enough. Yeah, so the, the equivalent for a, for a regular function, like vector function, uh, inner product for matrices is the trace? Yes, yes. Inner product, yes. we, we define inner product of two matrices A and B. Unfortunately, you don't see my word, whiteboard clean when uh, the presentation is on, but uh, I, I, I will get back to, to it uh, again, uh, remind me. We have two questions for the whiteboard. Okay, but I say with words, the, tra uh, the inner product between two matrices of similar size, A and B, this is trace A transpose B, <clears throat> and this is the same as sum of all element-wise uh, products of AIJ multiplied by BIJ. It, it was in our course in the, the first lecture, uh, refresh of yeah. algebra. Uh, of thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay. Any other question, comment with respect to Katya, Katya pre presentation? It's actually not Katya, it's Katya. I'm saying it's with English pronunciation. Yes, am, 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 am I right? You can pronounce it that way. <laughs> Katya. Katya, let's say Katya. it in the right way. Katya presentation. Uh, any, any question? Okay, uh, so thank you very much. And we will switch to my whiteboard and I will keep two questions. So, one question was, uh, uh, one question was, uh, okay, I can remove all this stuff. About the notation of the Jacobian. Yes, yes, yes. I just am thinking where to free space on my white. Okay. If I have a function, let me see. I hope that you see clear my, my whiteboard. If I have phi of u, a uh, function of a ve vector, which I be define in the way, actually my function phi is scalar. It's phi of u1, uh, phi of u2. Those are components. Phi of un. Uh, and uh, and let me even denote this. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. How can I put it? I I want uh, to have in indexes. You you know. Uh, let let me be less ge less general. Okay, uh, let me think one more second. So, so what I really want, let's den denote this is a vector. I don't know. Let, let de denote this is a vector f. Uh, a h. You, you have already h. Uh, okay, as vector b. And uh, I, I ask the question, what is D, B, I? Uh, D, U, J. Can you, uh, can you uh, help me with this? Hello, do, do you hear yes. me? Yes, yes, I can hear you and maybe, maybe I can help. We need uh, uh, so, uh, if uh, I 
is equal to j, it will be the derivative. Uh, it, it will be phi prime, yes? Phi prime of uh, ui, yes? Yes. And if i not equal to j, then we we are we, we are going to differentiate something with respect that doesn't depend on it. It will be yes. zero be because this uh, this output uh, you say is uh, is uh, i is two. Yes, is, is this is the depend only on u two? It doesn't depend on u three, so it will be zero. The, the so so I, I have the, and this is the definition of Jacobian. So I, I will have this Jacobian matrix, which you will have uh, on diagonal uh, E1 prime and so yeah. on. Yeah. E can, can prime. you take, please? And here I will be zeros, okay? The cam the, can you take the camera a little bit? Uh, just, yes, yes, I will, I will do it. Okay. Perfect. Maybe take it a little bit further, we, we, we can't see the whole picture. Uh, yes, I will do it. Wait a second. Okay. I will do it now. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Now you, you, you now see. Now it's perfect. perfect. Yes. You see everything. So is it, uh, I hope that this answers your question. This is J Jacobian. I don't know. B. <laughs> B of phi. B of U. Jacobian. With Jacobian, there, there is a problem with in, in indices. You want to say that this is Jacobian of some function with respect to some variable. So we, we need to work. <laughs> Michal, can you explain just a second why when uh, I is different than J? Yes. Uh, so, so I, zero. I, I, I am asking, well, I, 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 the, the, this index, I call it I. So, so oh, um, maybe the, the, this index. So, I equal two. Yes, here. Mm -hmm. And I, I am asking, what is derivative of this term with respect to U3? And of course, it's zero. It depends on your. So two. it's zero dependent on it. Because the, this term depends only you only on you two. Okay. Okay. The, the, so the, the, by definition, I, H. A, yes. But so so by definition, definition of J, Jacobian, Jacobian is a matrix of such a partial derivatives. Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Okay. You know, Michael, it's and very we have other uh, question postponed about inner product of two matrices. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, but let's uh, yes. Do you have questions just, about this? Ju just wanted to comment that it's very, very, very simple to see if we take just x and y instead of u uh, one to u n. If we take x and y, then when we differentiate a function of x with respect to y, it's zero. And when we differentiate a function of y with respect to x, it's also zero. Okay, I hope to, that it, it helped to somebody. I need to still to, to understand what, what you told. But uh, any, any question, any comments uh, from now? Okay, we did it. Yeah. And then I remind you simple thing uh, and very basic, simple and very basic thing. If I have a function f, I, I have a function f, say of w. W is a, a matrix, uh, and uh, so I, I have a gradient of f. So. so W is a matrix with the uh, elements uh, W, I, J. Uh, 
what, uh, what will be a gradient, first of all, of my scalar function of a matrix? It, it will have such particles, uh, partial derivatives. Df, uh, dwig. This is gradient. It, it will be a matrix. Gradient of function of a matrix is a matrix. Now, I, I, I know I, I use, just a second, I do. My whiteboard, yes, to have it more, more clear. Uh, we, we, we are used to the notation that df is uh, inner product of gradient of f with uh, dw. Okay? Yeah. And now I, I ask a separate question. Uh, if I have two matrices, A and B, of, of the same size, I have a matrix A and I have matrix D. Uh, I say that inner product of A with B, first of all, I define it with very simple way. Sum of ij, aij, bij. So, I, uh, or in other way, I can open a and b as very long vectors and uh, use usual inner product. But we also showed that the same is trace a transpose b. This is, uh, I, I, I would ask you even to do as your home exercise. This is uh, very simple because you look uh, what is on diagonal of A transpose B and you discover that there are subs of all elements. Okay, are, are you with me? I need some voice response. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is, is, is okay. It's good, yes, it's good. So, and then we can continue. The, knowing this, having this knowledge, that this is a trace of a gradient F transpose DW. I hope, yes, I'm still in. Yeah, you can see it. Now I did, uh, I remind you the whole picture. Okay. Okay, any, I need, I need to put my screen a little bit more distant for you to have to see me and to see the, the whiteboard. It's a li little bit ch challenging, but I hope that I manage. Okay, okay. Any, any question, any comments? We, we, we had much more in our video lectures. Uh, but I have to rem uh, leave it for your own consideration and you please uh, send your questions and we can discuss it somehow or discuss it with teaching assistants. Uh, but we did, this is the most central part. And uh, I hope it will help for your homework on, new on neural networks. If, if there are no, no questions, I will make a comment. Okay, yes. Uh, so in, in uh, f physicists, they, they have an Einstein summation where they don't write the sigma explicitly. Mm -hmm. They just write Aij, Bij. Yes, you mean in tensor, uh, yes, in tensor not notation, yes. So I, I, I found out recently that there is this very, I think, useful function. Uh, I know, know it from Python. It's called the, uh, I, I, it's uh, in sum. It's like a generalized sum, mm -hmm. but stands for Einstein summation. Mm -hmm. And apparently it's very, very useful uh, in neural networks, deep neural networks, because it allows to do 
very general matrix multiplications mm-hmm. in one simple line. Very good. And I have a question. With the example which we consider it in this lesson, uh, can you use it to simplify anything or can you can you present what we did today with your way? Because if you can and you can uh, prepare a couple of slides with this or maybe with other network, it will be very nice and useful. And maybe, maybe, uh, just a second, who, who is talking? I don't see. This is Ron. Ron, this is if, if, you, if you can do a short video with screen recording, with uh, some yes. uh, nice example, as simple as possible, maybe with the same example as, as we do, or maybe a little bit more complicated. Okay. With your notation, it would be very, very nice and put it a, as a additional material to our course. This, this is a great idea. I will definitely, I will try to do it. And I, I even uh, want to encourage students, even I, I may think uh, without obligations, that I may think about bo- bonuses for such kind of uh, action involved. This, this is very generous of you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's do it. Okay. So, any, any, any other question or comment? Okay. Then we are finishing for today. And please uh, send links to the video if, if you will be able to upload. And the, the previous one. The, the, the yes, video. yes, yes. I'll, I'll do that as well. Okay, okay. thank you. So um, have, a, have a good day and success with your homeworks. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Michael. Bye-bye.